Story of Athena. Take one. Story of Athena. Take one. And a criminal record. I do not have criminal records. We need to know. No, I do not have criminal records. What do you put in your taco? What do I put in my taco? Mm -hmm. Like just a normal taco? Alright. Okay. No. <laughs> Hello, my name's Athena, and this is my story. Fun fact, people don't really know this, but Athena isn't actually my name. So, kind of awkward, but, so I wanted something different, and but I wanted to be recognized as a, a girl, and so I was really thinking about it, and I had decided that I wanted something to kind of resonate with the Greek side of me, and I was like, I'm sure there's plenty of Aphrodite, so that's, uh, I'm, I'm sure of that, but I hadn't really heard of any Athenas. And that one really resonated with me, and I just, I thought it would be a perfect username. So, but for those of you who are wondering, my, my, my real name is Alejandra, so I'm half Hispanic as well. Born and raised in Austin, Texas. I have lived there my whole life. Something not many people know about me is I really genuinely like to travel a lot. So I've been, oh, I've, I've traveled to more than 20 different countries. And just throughout my whole life, I've, I've, I kind of have this mindset where if I go somewhere once in life, I will never go there again because there's just so many places in the world that I haven't been to and I haven't seen that I really want to get to know and just go and go explore. I love basketball, love sports. Absolutely, like diehard Olympics fan. I've been keeping up with them. So for those of you who have been watching, I've I've been watching so much of it, and I hope to one day kind of take content creation and 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 push forward with that, and while being an artist as well, because I've been diving into music as well, and hopefully I can I can kind of break those boundaries that they have on each other. I didn't plan this career path. If I'm being honest, I started as, out as a joke. It was, it was an opportunity that presented itself when I was in a transition period from university. So I went to UT Dallas and was going to switch over and finish my course in Austin and transfer to UT. And one of my friends one day was like, hey, you play a lot of video games, you should stream it. Me, of course, not knowing the whole world of video games and the community on, and Twitch and everything, I was, I, I had never opened that door. So when someone told me you'd be perfect for it, I started it as a joke. Someone dared me and I was like, okay, you know what? I'll do this. And little did I know in two weeks, it would completely change my whole world. Because I'm broadcasting? Oh my God, home and just subscribed. Oh my God, you guys. Holy. I kid you not. It's I I started started streaming two weeks. I got my very first donation the I want to say a day or two after. I was able to get a face cam, a, a headset, a microphone, and for the longest time I played on a TV monitor. So I I had this this chair where I had a wireless keyboard and mouse. I didn't have a proper setup. I balanced a little uh, camera, a webcam on a chair, and every day I would have to adjust it to make sure it looked good. And it, it completely changed my whole life. And it, I, was in, I was blown away by the Rocket League community specifically and just the, the open arms that I, I saw throughout the whole community. It was amazing. For those of you who are watching and you know Rocket League, there is a key figure that has impacted everyone at some point. And his name is John Sandman. So he had had given me an opportunity to be on his YouTube channel. And I think that exposure really did change my whole career path. So for those of you watching, you guys know Rizzo as well. He gave us a, a platform to succeed. And I genuinely do believe that we owe our careers to him. He has just been such a great figure in this community and really just opened so many doors to us and I'm, I'll be forever thankful for him. At the end of the day, I just want people to know when they, when they watch my stream that it took me a long time to get where I am today and that I hope to, to like I said earlier, I hope to inspire people that whether they want to pursue content creation in Rocket League, that you can do it because it's a lot of a lot of times people get disheartened by this the atrocities that they get told while being associated online with the internet 
Um, I hope that they they see what I what I'm doing and know that it is possible to do what you love to do and and not just give it up. I've been very thankful and fortunate enough to meet some amazing people, some in the US and some best friends of mine that are in Norway, Germany, just overseas and I've known them for years now and I've I, I wouldn't have been able to meet them if it wasn't through content creation and just being able to make friends that I know are extremely passionate about, you know, video games and whether it be a LAN, whether it be just that community sense, that, that, that keeps me going. And just being able to meet so many different people around the world is just something that I think is super unique to streaming and, and content creation that not a lot of people have that opportunity. Back in 2017, when Envy first got involved with Rocket League, I was telling the story earlier, but my sister really enjoyed the Rocket League team. And she got a shirt, she asked for a shirt, and uh, she, she's had that Envy shirt for since 2017. And looking back on her now, knowing that that was kind of like my first introduction to Envy, is kind of surreal because when, when being a content creator, and in Rocket League specifically, Envy has such a huge legacy. And for those of you who have kept up with Rocket League, there are pretty notable players on it. We're just gonna ignore the fact that one of them has won four times, but Envy is just such a great organization and they're located in Texas, three hours away from Austin. It couldn't have been a more perfect fit. Being a part of this organization and just walking in and seeing I kid you not, the wall of trophies. It's not like, it's, it's not only like a couple or a handful. There is actually a wall of trophies. If that doesn't make a statement, I don't know what will. And just seeing everyone, and everyone that I've met have just, has just been so kind to me and just so uh, welcoming with open arms. It's, it's been surreal. And to be able to be a part of this community is just something I couldn't be more thankful for. It's so nice to be able to come to the headquarters and just meet everyone, meet the team, and just be more involved with the, with the organization. It's just something that is extremely convenient and something that I enjoy a lot. And making content is something that I've done throughout my whole life. And it's something that I'm super passionate about. So I'm excited to explore my options with an Envy and just be able to make more content that I know that I will be proud of and that it would be fantastic to do with Envy. It is very clear that Envy has a very, uh, has a reputation where they perform exceedingly well. And to be able to stand by a team that not only looks good on paper, but is able to perform, as a fan, that's, that's all you could want. And then also on the content creation side, being able to, to work on content alongside Minx and the Botez sisters is absolutely fantastic. And I look up to them very much so. And, it's, it's awesome. I, there's just kind of a best of both worlds in this situation for me. Something that I hope to accomplish with Envy is to elevate the content that I push out in collaboration with them. Thankfully, I mean, by the time this video comes out, you guys know that music is something that I was extremely passionate about and I had worked on a song for Rocket League. and. Envy was able to help out with my with my music video and for that I'll be forever grateful and I think with those opportunities arising and just being able to explore those doors is something that I really look forward to genuinely. I just want to say thank you to Envy for giving me this platform and giving me this opportunity to kind of show the world who I am and to break records and 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 boundaries and and glass ceilings and to be able to Prove to the world who Athena is and what she can do.